Hello, my name is Manoj Patel from Hamlet Homes in Warrington. I'm a regular blog writer. I write my own blog called the Warrington Property Blog. I've been writing this for about the last four or five years. And recently we've decided to convert this to video so that you uh, get the benefit of listening as well as reading the blog. And this week I've written an in-depth analysis on how working from home is likely to affect the Warrington property market going into the future. I'll let my colleague Chris give you a quick summary of this. 8.1% of Warrington workers worked from home before COVID-19. Wonder how many more do now? Before the COVID-19 pandemic hit, 6,727 Warrington people worked mainly from home, or around 8.1% of Warrington's 83,137 workforce. That's compared to the national average of 14.9%. Yet over the last few weeks, many hundreds, even thousands more Warrington workers have joined them in their spare rooms or at their kitchen or dining room tables. Talking to many Warrington people who have been asked to work from home, it's been a pleasant success. Working from home does have some negatives though. The really hard part is having a the really hard part is having a dedicated space in your home. Attempt to set up a workspace and make it out of bounds to the rest of your household while you're working. Although that's really difficult when you have children or your partner is having to work from home as well. Interestingly, looking at the stats, this internment in Warrington people's homes could be a catalyst for people wanting to move home later in the year, be it for rent or sale, thus giving a vital boost to the Warrington property market. Would it surprise you that 15,624 Warrington households are either at full capacity or officially overcrowded? Even worse, I suspect that there are many Warrington families with two teenage boys or two teenage girls, and the guidance is suggesting that they share a bedroom. I mean, do they live in the real world? This means that there are probably even more Warrington households that are at full capacity or even more overcrowded than the stats suggest. This means that plenty of people will be working from home on the dining room table, if they have a dining room that is, and quite probably the kitchen table. I mean, that is a recipe for even more people wanting to move home later in the year. As humans, we're very sociable creatures and we acutely feel the need to be in face-to-face -face contact with one another, meaning lockdown is quite tough for many of us. Yet, if we're able to connect the positive prospects for the future working and the situation that COVID-19 offers us, then together as a society, we should be able to find the right balance between working from home and coming together. In the meantime, be considerate of each other and keep safe. We're all in this together and we will all overcome this together. Right, brilliant. Thank you very much, Chris. I hope you found that useful. And if you did, I'd appreciate you do all the usual social media stuff, you know, like, share, comment, uh, tag, and of course, subscribe and follow so you get notified next time I put the, the next video out. And of course, if you're, in, if you're a tenant, a landlord, a buyer, a seller, or an investor, please feel to, free to give me a shout. My telephone number is 01925 235 338. My name is Manoj Patel. And my website is hamletholmeswarrington.co.uk. Thank you very much and have a good day.